Hello everyone. Welcome to the new episode of Tech Facts and I'll be presenting some very interesting tech news. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon as whenever I post a video, you get a notification without fail. So, let's start. Xiaomi offshoot Poco introduced the Poco M2 Pro back in July and today the company announced its toned down variant the Poco M2. The Poco M2 has a Helio 680 SoC at the helm that's paired with 6GB RAM. The smartphone runs Android 10 based MIUI 11 out of the box and the company has promised to roll out MIUI 12 soon. Poco says that the M2 won't come with any ads like the MIUI running smartphone sold under the MI and Redmi brand. The Helio 680 powered smartphone is built around a 6.53 inch full HD plus display that has a notch up top of the 8MP selfie camera and protection of the Gorilla Glass 3. The back of the phone has a two tone pattern with an anti fingerprint texture and is home to a fingerprint sensor that is accompanied by a quad camera setup comprising 13MP primary, 8MP ultra wide, 5MP micro, and 2MP depth sensor units. Fueling the entire package is a 5000 mAh battery that draws power through a USB C port at up to 14 watts. However, the bundled adapter only supports 10 watt charging, so you will have to shell out more money for faster charging. The rest of the specs of the POCO M2 include 128GB storage, a dedicated slot for micro SD card allowing storage expansion up to 512GB, P2I water repelling nano coating, IR blaster and 3.5mm headphone jack. The POCO M2 is offered in brick red, peach black and slate blue colors and will go on sale in India from September 15th through Flipkart. The base model with 6GB RAM and 64GB storage is priced at 10,999 rupees and 1,500 more if you get the double storage. So do you want me to make an unboxing video of this POCO M2? Tell me in the comment section below. Nearly a week after PUBG Mobile and 117 more Chinese apps were banned by the Indian government for over accusation of the mishandling user data, PUBG Corporation has released an official statement of the matter. The key takeaway is that Tencent will no longer be the publisher of this hit battle royale game in India. It remains to see how long this change will take and whether the Indian government will approve it. For now, all the PUBG mobile players in India who have the game on their devices will still be able to play and enjoy all the features. The only problem is that the game is not currently available for downloads on Play Store and App Store for the new players to join in. So do you want the PUBG to resume back in India or it's better to remain banned? Tell me in the comment section below. According to Times Frames of SLP, we were able to determine that 2 out of 4 iPhone 12 will hit the market earlier than the other 2. This is a theory that Digitimes has been throwing around for a while and it's contrast with the other forecast, one of them which is from Blueberry. All the theories have one thing in common though, not the all 4 iPhone 12 will launch at the same time. Going by info from the SLP supplier, the two 6.1 inch iPhone 12 will make it in time the Pro and the non-Pro variants of the 6.1 inch flavor. The components started shipping in July while the ones for the 5.0 inch and the 6.7 inch iPhones didn't kick off until the second half of the August. Some believe that the budget iPhones, one of the 6.1 inch models and the 5.4 inch one will be the first but we think that it's a bit difficult to stretch. So let's see what happens to the future of iPhone 12 in the upcoming days. The Redmi Smart Band is coming to India tomorrow, September 9, priced at 1,599 rupees. It took the smart wearable five whole months to get to Indian markets after it got launched in China in April. The Redmi Smart Band has a 1.08 inch LCD of 128-220 pixel resolution, constant heart rate monitoring, sleep tracking, exercise tracking, fire atmosphere waterproof, and 130mAh battery that promises 14 days of endurance. The band lacks NFC but the international version of the MI Band 4 does not have it either. The band is available in black, blue, red, and brown and you can choose from the 72 watch faces to customize the look of the band. The Redmi Smart Band will be available tomorrow, September 9, via the MI.com, Amazon India, and the partnering retail outlets. So, are you going to buy the, this Redmi Smart Band? Tell me in the comment section below. Here's some bad news for the OnePlus lovers. According to one of the most reliable Lickster, the OnePlus 8T Pro isn't happening this year. It could be because the company has already released a mid range device, the OnePlus Nord, and it's also looking up to deliver a new low and 5G enabled handset as well as, so it's looking to streamline its flagship lineup at least for now. Anyway, the new OnePlus 8T is code named Kebab, and that's why Max J shared a picture of the word Kebab 2 being crossed out. The Kebab 2 bit is in reference to the OnePlus 8T Pro, and he even confirms it on the Twitter thread. So now let's see the OnePlus 8 Pro 
So now let's see the OnePlus 8T Pro the next year. Today the Moto G9 Plus was listed on Google's Play Console revealing piece of the puzzle. According to the listing, the handset will feature a Snapdragon 730, it will be backed by 4GB of RAM and the phone will run on end on trend on a 1080 pixel screen. The functionality and resolution of the second and third cameras on the back are basically the, the only unknowns remaining but the rate at which the leaks are coming, the official announcement should be just at around the corner. So are you excited for the upcoming Moto G9 Plus? Tell me in the comment section below. Hello everyone, if you have not yet subscribed to Facts and Trends, please don't miss this golden opportunity. Press the bell icon along with the subscription button and please allow me to serve you with the latest tech related videos every day. Vivo will launch the Vivo V20 in India just ahead of the Dashera festival which is on October 25. And while the V19 came with an L-shaped quad camera setup, the V20 will sport a triple camera setup and layout that's reminiscent of the more premium X50 Pros. However, going to the leaked images, the V20 lacks the periscope module and it's unclear that if it will come with the gimbal stabilization. Like the V19, the V20 will also feature dual camera setup on the front but the time it's placed in the left corner, the main selfie camera will have a 44 MP sensor. The secondary unit might sit behind an ultra wide angle lens. The rest of the specs of the V20 are currently unknown but one of the leaked images confirmed the smartphone will support 5G networks. In addition to V20, Vivo is also coming with V20 SE and V20 Pro. More details about V20 Trio should be surfaced in the coming weeks. There's barely a spec left on the Sony Xperia 5 Mark II that was left for us to know. The charging speed was one of the few remaining details but the FCC cleared that up. We already knew that the Mark II will have a 4000 mAh battery with USB support power delivery over a Hype C port. According to the FCC document, the phone will come with Sony UCH32 charger and an 18 watt power brick that has been bundled with the previous Sony models including the original Xperia 5. The Sony Xperia 5 Mark II will be unveiled on September 17. It will have a 6.1 inch 120Hz OLED display, a Snapdragon 865 chipset and the same triple camera as the Xperia 1 Mark II. So are you excited for the upcoming Sony Xperia 5 Mark II? Tell me in the comment section below. Earlier this week, a mysterious Oppo phone turned up on 10R with design similar to the Oppo F17 pair but with an LED flash behind the fourth circle in the camera setup. Reports claim a new device called Oppo Reno 4 SE is on its way and the specs align with the listing of the Chinese regulatory meaning a launch is right around the corner. The Reno 4 SE will have a Dimensity 800 chipset coupled with 8GB RAM and 128GB of storage. The front of the phone will have a 6.43 inch Super AMOLED by Samsung, a single hole for the 32MP selfie camera and 90Hz refresh rate. The tree of the camera on the back will have a 48MP IMX586 sensor for the main shooter plus 8MP ultra wide cam doubling as a macro shooter plus 2MP depth sensor. The battery is set to be 4300 which isn't so impressive but it will have charge in no time with the 65W fast charger. The price is expected to be nearly close to 380 so let's see when this Oppo Reno 4 SE hits the smartphone market. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Jai Hind, Vande Matram.